can get an idea and feel for what nations are here, even if you haven't got a costume or uh, your colours on, it doesn't make any difference. But if you hear your nation, don't stand and say it again. So one person will just represent that nation. Otherwise, we'll be here all night with 10 people saying the one nation. <laughs> okay? And then there's some people who uh, have a heart. God's laid a burden of a nation upon their, their heart and they represent that nation tonight. You can stand as well and just name that nation as God's given you uh, to intercede for. So just stand up, just say what nation you represent. Remember, if it's been said once, do not say it again. Okay. God. Yeah, men, you can stand up and say, we've had Barbados already, Brother Clark. St. <laughs> <laughs> so Lucia. France. France. Mauritius. Mauritius. Grenada. Grenada. Panama. Panama. Zambia. Zambia. This, is, this, is, this is marvelous, isn't it? <laughs> Colombia. Come on, don't be shy. Well, that, that just gives you a taste of the nations that we have in this room today. And uh, there are many more nations, but it just shows you so many nations represented here. And I don't think, ah, oh, you didn't stand up. We have Israel. <laughs> Praise God. We have Pamela Suran from Israel. Many nations represented here. We've been having a marvelous time this week uh, as God has been ministering to us in various areas of our life as women. God has just been unfolding his, his word to us in the day sessions. It has been awesome. And uh, tonight, because God has so impacted our hearts, and we heard last night about intercession, being intercessors, uh, watchman on the wall and again this morning we went even deeper into uh, uh, areas of intercession and what God has called us to and and how we need to be in the things that you know that have come aside with the Lord the place of solitude the, to, to be a true intercessor there must be humility you know we looked at different aspects and it was it was just awesome a high calling God's called us to uh, as we stand in the gap and so tonight we're going to intercede for our nations, we want to see change. As we know, there are different things in different nations, there are different strongholds that need to be broken. And tonight, we're going to pray together because it's going to, you can't individually pray, it'll take far too long, but we can all pray together um, with one voice as we pray out things and then pray in things. Pray in the things of God. Pray in what we know in the word of God, God wants to see in the nations. And pray out the strongholds. I'm going to name different things. I'm going to, we're, going to, we're going to face the different directions. I'm going to pray for our nations, the nations that God's laid in our hearts to pray for. And we're going to see strongholds being pulled down. I'm going to ask Lorna to come right now as we declare some scriptures. And then we're going to go into prayer. Some scriptures are going to come up on the screen and we're just going to stand and declare these scriptures um, before we pray over our nation. Now the first scripture is um, Psalm 2 verse 8 and it's in the Amplified and we, we want to stand and declare this together. So it says, Ask of me and I will give you the nations as your inheritance and the uttermost parts of the earth as your possession. The second scripture we're going to declare is Psalm 113, verse 4. 
and together it says, the Lord is high above all nations and his glory above the heavens. And the final scripture we're going to declare is Isaiah 45, verse 18. And that says, For thus says the Lord, who created heaven, God himself, who formed the earth and made it, who established it and did not create it, their worthless waste. He formed it to be inhabited. I am the Lord, and there is no one else. This is why we can ask the Lord for the nations, because he created them. Bless you. He created the nations, and he also said to us in Matthew chapter 28, verses 19 and 20, Go you therefore and teach all nations, baptize them in the name of the Father and the Holy Ghost, of the Son and the Holy Ghost. Teach them to observe all these things whatsoever I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, even to the end. He's called us to go into all the nations and to declare the gospel. Declare the good news of Jesus Christ, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, and teach them to, all, to observe all that he has commanded us. And he said, I am with you for always, even unto the end of the world. We're not going on our own. He is with us. And as Christians, we become very lazy. And we have not been doing, we have not been going as we should go. We have not been praying as we should pray. We have not been doing the things we should do. But now God's calling us, and we know he's always been calling, but now we, we, we have an understanding, especially this week, if you didn't understand before. Someone said to me the other day, she said, I, I, I never thought about praying for the nations. I pray for my family. I pray for this nation. But I never thought about praying for other nations, to have a burden for other nations. The enemy has just taken over because we're not standing at our post. And as, and as, and as Pamela shared with us, I believe she sharpened our understanding, brought clarity to our understanding, the great responsibility that we have. We're going to turn into different directions and we are gonna we're gonna pray that God will give us a humble heart we're gonna put aside our pride because sometimes we're so proud of being a Christian and we put ourselves on a pedestal and we say well I, I'm all right you know good luck to the rest of the world no if we are Christians and we should have love one for another and we should love those who are not saved and have a desire to see them saved and not have peace until we see them come in. Carry a burden for our families. Carry a burden for those lost in sin, those who are gripped by sin, by the strongholds of Satan, and they cannot help themselves. They're in the valley of indecision. They don't even know their left hand from their right hand. They don't know what to believe, what to do. But if we go to the, if we pray, that God will pull down the strongholds in their minds. Their minds are held captive by Satan. But the light of Jesus Christ will penetrate and just demolish the strongholds and truth will come. Prayer. Prayer changes things. So we want to pray right now in the name of Jesus. Think of your nation. Think of what's going on in your nation. For example, in Barbados, there's a strong spirit of lawlessness and indecency. Pornography, homosexuality, lesbianism is rampant in the schools. Children can't go to school, but girls in girls' schools are being interfered by other girls. My little niece said to me, she's only 10 years old, and she said to me, Auntie Rosie, there's one particular school I'm not going to. She's studying in Barbados, and she named the school. And I said, so why don't you want to go there? She said, we had a careers day at my primary school. And the girls from that school came. She's 10 years old. And she said, they're lesbians. And they came and told us about their school. So they want us to come to the school. And she said, afterwards, when they came to talk to us individually, they were saying to us, you're mine. When you come to my school, you're, you're mine. I choose you for myself. And she said, I'm not going to that school. That's how bad things are coming in the nation's. 
We're going to pray against that spirit in the name of Jesus. Fancy. Something like that happened. They're, they're bringing these girls to, 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 to promote the school, and that's what they were doing, promoting lesbianism, choosing those young girls for themselves. We curse that in the name of Jesus. There's different things in different nations, different strongholds. But as the Spirit brings things to your mind, we, 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 we pray out rebelliousness. We pray out the spirit of, un, of unrighteousness. The Spirit will tell you what to pray as you know your nation. But there's strongholds that have to be broken. I want us to turn to the north, the east, the south, and the west. As we, as, as we, we face these different directions, we're covering the globe. We're covering the earth. And we're going to pray out, first of all, Everything that the Lord, the Holy Spirit brings to your mind that needs to come out of every nation that, that goes against the word of God and against the, the laws of God and the principles of God's word. Just let the Holy Spirit lead you right now. If you need to walk, walk. If you, if you will need to move, just move. But we're going to pray in Jesus' name these things. That we're going we're gonna to replete the blood in the name of Jesus that cleansing will come. That deliverance will come. That strongholds will be broken in the name of Jesus. Pray out on righteousness. Pray out sinful acts. Pray and ask God to pull down the strongholds. Pray and ask God to put Satan's kingdom in retreat. In Jesus' name. We're going to pray. So we, we're going to pray so we'll see the forces of darkness go into retreat. They're going to have to march back. Our prayers are going to push them back in Jesus' name. Our, our, our prayers, as we come together as one right now, is a form of block against the forces of darkness. A, a strong wall that will not be demolished. In Jesus' name, let's just start to pray out. Turn in different directions in this church. Face forward, face over there, over there, and begin to pray right now. Begin to pray right now. Jesus. Father, right now in the name of Jesus, we pray in conviction of sin, Lord. We ask right now in the name of Jesus that you will convict people of sin and of righteousness. We pray out rebelliousness in the name of Jesus. We pray out lawlessness in Jesus' name. We pray out immorality. We pray out adultery and fornication. We pray out promiscuity. In the name of Jesus, we pray out witchcraft, the strongholds that hold our nation captive and hold people's hearts in fear. We pray out the occult in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. We pray out lying. Is a stronghold, the lies of Satan, the lies of Satan that put people's minds in bondage. We pray out corruption in governments, in the police force. We pray it out right now in Jesus' name. Kashakaba Santo Robo Shiko Robo Santo. Who I declare, just come right now and just declare that scripture. If God's laying your heart a scripture and you want, you want to come and read it, just come right now and declare it right now in Jesus' name. God's giving you a scripture, you just want to just come right now and declare that scripture right now. If we prayed out, 
as we've prayed out. Now, don't, don't sit down. Don't, okay, sit down for the scriptures then. Sit down for the scriptures as people come. And then we're going to turn around and we're going to start praying in. We've prayed out. We can't just pray out and leave it because Satan will come back even stronger. You'll come and see this empty void. We're going we're gonna to come, come back and pray in. Pray in the things of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, that the Moroccans will be redeemed at the hand of Islam, Lord. We thank you, God, that their sins are forgiven, Lord. We thank you, Lord, through your blood that you will bring the, continuously, Lord, the Moroccans and cleanse them from Islam in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Lord, through your blood. The Moroccans will be justified, made righteous as they've never sinned, oh God. Thank you, Lord, through your blood. They will be sanctified, made holy, and separate, set apart for your glory, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the blood of Jesus. They will come in boldness into your presence, Lord. And we cast that every spirit of fear that Islam is put upon them in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that their body will be the temple of the Holy Spirit, redeemed and cleansed and sanctified by the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that their body, Father, will be instruments of righteousness yielded Jesus. to you, O oh God, for your service and for your gl glory. Thank you, Islam will have no place in them, no power over them, no Jesus. unsettled claim against them. It will be all settled by your blood, Lord. It has already been in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that they will overcome by your blood and by their testimony, Lord, and they will not love their love to death. Thank you, Lord. Lord, that their body will belong to you and you will belong to their body. We drive our Islam out of them in the name of Jesus, Jesus and bring them, Father, to you, Lord, so they can see the sacrifice of blood and they'll be cleansed, Father, from this witchcraft of Islam in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Anybody else want to pray and, pro and proclaim or have a word? Just come right now. Um, this is Sierra Leone, um, it's Psalm 46. Um, God is our refuge and strength, a very, a very present time in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, even though the earth will remove, and though the mountain will carry it into the midst of the sea. Um, um, though its water would and be troubled, though the mountain shake with it's swollen and salad. There is a river whose stream um, shall make glad the city of God, the only place of the tabernacle of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be removed. God shall help her just as the break of dawn. The nation wage, the kingdoms were um, moved. He halted his voice. The earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Amen. Come, behold, the work of the Lord, who had made the desolation in the earth. He makes war cease to the end of the mm. earth. He breaks the bow, bow and cuts the spear in two. He burns the chariot in the fire. Be still. And know no, that I, I am, am God. God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of us is with, with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Amen. We declare that in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, just um, hang on, just one second. Isaiah 14. What verse? One to, one to seven. Okay, she says she isn't speaking. I think, is it, is it Spanish you speak? Is it Spanish? Yeah. So she asked me to read it. Isaiah 14. 1 to 7. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants. 
and handmaids, and they shall take them captives, whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. And it shall come to pass in that day, the Lord will give thee rest from your, thy sorrow, and from thy fear, and from the hard bondage wherein thou wast made to serve. That thou shalt take to this proverb against the king of Babylon, and say, How hath the oppressor ceased? The golden city ceased. The Lord hath broken the staff of the wicked and the sceptre of the rulers. He who smote the people in wrath will, with a continual stroke, he that ruled the, the nations in anger is persecuted and none hindereth. The whole earth is at rest and is quiet. They break forth into singing. Praise God. Hallelujah. Anyone else? Praise the Lord. I'm from Jamaica, and um, <clears throat> tonight um, I want to read um, just two verses. One is Psalms 47, verse 3 says, He shall subdue the people under us and the nations under our feet. And um, Psalms 140, verse 12 says, I know that the Lord will maintain the cause of the afflicted, and the right of the poor. You see, in Jamaica, is one of the um, poverty in Jamaica cause a lot of sin, and a lot of things stem from poverty. Because of poverty and poorness, you know, you have young girls, they will seek out men to support them. They will seek out, you know, school children will seek, uh, men will take liberty with school children because, you know, they haven't got, they, 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 they befriend them in a way to give them the school fees and the money and things like that. You know, because of poverty, people are stealing, there's violence. Because of poverty, you know, people just have children with all different kind of men. There's so many different things. I know it's not just Jamaica, but that's in Jamaica. But, you know, the word of God says the Lord will, you know, he will maintain the cause of the afflicted and the poor. And tonight I just say, Father God, in the name of Jesus, yeah, we just Jesus. bring these issues, Father yes, God, to Jesus. you tonight. Yes. You see the abuse and the misuse young Jesus. girls, Lord. You see the abuse and the misuse children in Jamaica. You see the women, Father Jesus. God, who are having so many different children with different men. Father God, you see the Jesus. beating, Lord God, that are going on, the domestic violence, Lord. Father God, you see children that are hungry tonight, Lord. Father, oh God, we pray in the name of Jesus that you will just intervene on their behalf. Lift up your standard. Father, oh God, Father, we bring the afflicted and the poor to you tonight. Father, it is only you that can change their mindset, Lord. Oh God, go into the deep places of their minds tonight. Lift up your standard. Let self-esteem, Father God, come to those young girls. Let self-esteem come to those women, Father God, that they may expect better for themselves, Lord, and just not accept, Lord God, oh God, the abuse and the misuse, Lord God. It's not an excuse, Lord. It's not an excuse, but it's there, Lord. We ask that you will intervene tonight and bring about change. You are the God who is in heaven, and you do whatsoever you please, Lord. Father, oh God, we just come against the pedophile spirit, Father God, that are abusing, misusing these children, Father God, for their own gain, Lord God. We come against that tonight. We pray, Father, in Jesus' name, that you will send forth your light, O oh God, to shine in those dark areas. Bring exposures, Lord. Oh God, we know of, uh, of molestation of fathers and daughters. We know of all manner of things, Lord God. Father, it's, law, it's lawless, the lawlessness, yes. Father, that is upon the land. The violence that are in the city. Jesus. Father, we have seen the violence. You yes. have seen the violence. Lift up a standard yes. tonight in, in the name, name of, of Jesus. Jesus. Father, in we pull down Jesus. strongholds, Lord. Yes. Father, we come against the witchcraft yes. spirit, Father, where people will look to witchcraft. Yes. They will go and seek witch doctors instead of they Jesus. seek you out tonight. Father, we root up and pull up the yes. witch doctors tonight. We overthrow the their thrones tonight. We overthrow their kingdom tonight. Yes, in Father, Jesus in the name, name of Jesus, Jesus tonight. Name. Father, we, just like our pastor said, he kicked down that temple. Jesus. He kicked down that altar that the Muslim Jesus. was building, Father. Tonight, we take our feet, the feet you have given to us, Jesus. and we stamp on the altar of the food of doctors. We stamp on witchcraft yes. tonight because you said Jesus anything, name. Father, 
we put under our feet, Lord God. You will give it unto yes. us, Lord. And Father, we give you the praise, the yes. glory, and honor tonight. You are doing Jesus great name. and mighty things, Father, for us, yes. whereof we are glad. glad. We know, Father God, it's not mis by a mistake. It's not by accident that we are into this gathering, doing this, Lord. You have ordained yes. it. And because you are ordained it, Father, we will see results yes. in Jesus' name. Thank you, Amen. Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 We declare it. We decree it. It is done in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. Is there another person that wants to come? Okay, what we're going to do? All right, Stephen. Stephen's going to come. And then when Stephen comes... After some we're going to turn in, we're going to pray in. We're praying out. We're going to pray in now the things of God. Uh, this is for, um, I'm, I'm from Nigeria, but also it's for Britain and the nations of the world. Um, it's in, uh, from Joel, uh, Joel 2, 20, 28 and, tw and 29. And it says, um, it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. And your young men shall see visions. And also my, my men servants and, all, and on my men, uh, maid servants, I will pour my spirit in those days. Um, yeah, I just pray that God will revive us. Um, mm. thank you. Praise God. That's a good scripture for praying in. That's a good scripture for praying in. I just stand right now in the name of Jesus. We're going to start praying in. We're going to, we're going to pray. We're going to pray Matthew, uh, John 16, 8. We're going to pray. And it says, And when he is come, he will reprove the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment. We're going to pray for conviction of sin to come. That convicting power will come again. We're going to pray for humility of heart, that people's hearts will humble before the Lord and respond to him. We're going to pray for repentant hearts, that people will repent in the name of Jesus. We're going to pray for salvation for everyone. And we're going to pray for the outpouring of the Spirit of God. We're going to pray for the, the fear of God to come back. We're going to pray for righteousness to be reestablished in the nations. We're going to pray for holiness. In Jesus' name, start praying in the peace of God, cleansing, deliverance. There's so many things to pray in, but to turn into different directions again, we're going to face different directions again. North, east, south, west. Hallelujah. Someone's just coming from Hungary. We've got a Hungarian representative now. Zang just come in. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good to see you, Angela. Bless you. Come on, turn, turn into different directions. Just move your body, just move your body and face different directions right now. If you're sitting facing this way, so turn in different directions. Start praying in right now. Start praying in the things you know of the kingdom. Start praying for the Holy Spirit to start walking down streets, main streets, walking through the cities. Pray that he'll, he'll, start, he'll move through the highways and the byways, the mountain tracks. The spirit of truth will walk through the nations again. Let's pray. Pray in a heart of desperation for the things of God. Pray in a hunger and a thirst for righteousness. Pray in. That people will, be, will go so far in sin that they'll want to be clean. They'll, they'll begin to hate sin. A hatred for sin and uncleanness. And they'll want to be cleansed. Pray in the cleansing power of the word of God. The truth will come and be reestablished in the nations. Pray in the peace of God.
someone just asked that we read Isaiah chapter 62, verses 1 to 4. For Zion's sake will I not hold my peace, and for Jerusalem's sake I will not rest, until the righteous thereof go forth as brightness, and the salvation thereof as a lamp that burneth. And the Gentiles shall see thy righteousness, and all kings thy glory. And thou shalt be called by a new name, which the mouth of the Lord shall name. Thou shalt also be a crown of glory in the hand of the Lord, and a royal diadem in the hand of thy God. Thou shalt no more be termed forsaken, neither shall thy land any more be termed desolate, but thou shalt be called Hesibah, and thy land Beulah, for the Lord delighteth in thee, and thy land shall be married. This is God speaking to Israel, and we claim this in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. So be it. We clap in agreement with God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We've been praying in and praying out and praying out and praying in. But true repentance is needed for real change to come. So we, that we penetrate, not to scratch the surface, but really penetrate that change will come. And Reverend Richard has come right now and lead us in that area. Let's go to Ezekiel, uh, Isaiah chapter 5. And over many, many years, there are many th nations that have been praying, and they pray stuff away, and it's like doing gardening. You go into your garden, you see weeds and whatever, you pull them up, uh, and, and, what, and that's, that's what I felt tonight just now, that we need to actually, as, as we represent the nations here, this is, this is God at work here, uh, but we need, we need to do some uprooting. Uh, and, and so you can cut your garden down or whatever, and all you do is cut the top off. So we pray stuff off the top. It's like we do some lawn, spiritual lawn mowing. We just cut things off. But it's the roots that we need to get to. And uh, if anyone does come or any nation does come to God, it must come through repentance. Uh, we have to deal with the issue of sin. And, and so we want to thank God that we know that stuff has been torn down, and I believe that in Jesus' name. But we want to get to the root of, the, of the root of it, and so we need to cry out in repentance. And it says in, in, in Isaiah 5, let me just take, um, so we can see what the, the results are, because many times we deal with the symptoms, but we, we need to look at the results. Look at verse 18. I mean, the Amplified. Woe to those who draw, who draw calamity with cords of iniquity and falsehood who bring punishment themselves with a cart rope of wickedness. Woe to those who draw calamity, draw calamity, with cords of iniquity. The cords of iniquity, as we pray tonight, we need to understand that the calamity that comes to nations, the stuff that we pray, and I was just so moved when Sister Pat was just uh, dealing de de and bringing it up, it was wonderful, and it was very special, but we need to understand there, there actually there are cords, there are cords that pull things in the spiritual realm. You know, hope is the rope that pulls in what you believe for. Well, in the same way in, 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 a, in a nation, when we see conditions in a nation, as we pray for nations, we need to understand we have to cut the cords. And there are cords. And, and here it is. It says here, woe to those uh, who draw calamity with cords of iniquity. And iniquity is moral depravity. Moral depravity. They were like, I always say there are three levels of sin. The Bible says if you sin, we have an advocate. That's if you sin, not when you sin. So it's not premeditated. If you sin means you missed the mark, means you made a mistake. So David said, I've sinned against you. That means I, I made a mistake. But he went on to say, I also, I have transgressed against you. That's rebellion. And the Bible says rebellion is as witchcraft. That's when we start, oh, we make a mistake, but then we go on and keep doing it again. We move to the realm of, 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 of witchcraft, rebellion. Then we invoke a spirit of witchcraft into our nation through rebellion, knowing what's right and doing what's wrong, we persist. David came under a spell. When you come under a spell, you're controlled by the spell that's, that you're under. That's what happened to David. And then we move into this. We move into iniquities, the third level of sin. 
Iniquity is moral depravity. When we pray and we repent, we're saying, Father God, we want the cords of calamity to be cut. The cords of iniquity, the cords of moral depravity. Because if you just clean your garden and the roots are still there, it's going to come up again. And I believe if, as we represent the nation tonight, that's what we're going to do. We're going to cut cords in the spiritual realm. Amen? Lord, will you help us? Who say, let the Holy One make haste and speed his uh, prop- his prophesied vengeance that we may see it and let the purpose of the Holy One, Israel, draw near and come that we may know it. There's stuff that's prophesied that will automatically come, but there, there, there is a way that we can stand the gap if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and turn from their wicked ways. I'll hear from heaven and heal the land. And verse 20 is a key verse. Woe to those who call evil good and good evil, who put darkness for light and light for darkness who put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Woe to those who are wise in their own eyes and prudent and shrewd in their own sight. Woe to those who are mighty heroes at drinking wine and men of strength in mixing alcoholic drinks. Right around the world, if you go to most cities, if you ask people the names of beers and drinks, they can tell you. If you ask them one commandment, Or ask them for the Ten Commandments, they can't tell you one or two, but they can name all the drinks. Hello? I see a lot of Jamaicans dressed up in your colours here. You know there's a lot of white rum. In the poorest parts of Africa. In the poorest parts of Africa. The poorest parts. Where they can't even get food, yet they make make drinks. Intoxicated drinks. Wherever there's poverty, there's drink. Wherever there's poverty, there's some drug. Did you realize it? Wherever there's poverty, and you go on, you'll see the woes. Wherever there's poverty, there's sexual sin. And poverty is part of the curse. See, he had the threefold ministry. John 10.10. He comes to steal, kill, and destroy. You understand? So in all the nations we're praying for now, we can see his threefold ministry at work. But it starts off by our speaking. So instead of me going into all the other woes, I just focus and we're going to pray. It's from life and death is in the power of the tongue. So all these woes that you see that are in the nations all came out of speech. They all came out of speech somewhere. Are you hearing me? You can go to a poor country and you can find in that poor country, you can find Christians. And if you go in their house, their house is clean. Just like we were in Rwanda the other day. You go in their house, there's food. You go in their house, everything about them is, is, is different from the poverty outside. You know why? While they're in there, they receive the word of God. And just by speaking, just by speaking, they wash their clothes in dirty water and the clothes come out white. So in Haiti, they wash, they wash their clothes in dirty red mud water, and when they hang them out, the Christian clothes are white. They come with white blouses. You know why? If you can turn water into white, he can make dirty water clean. Don't look at me like that. He done it for your life. Yes, he did. He made us from dirty to clean. Should we pray right now? In Jesus' name, can you stand with me? I want us to repent of certain things. And there's some things that just on my heart that I, that I pray on. And as, as uh, the Lord has led Pastor Rose me to call this tonight to pray for nations, I'm saying, Heavenly Father, we're going to ask forgiveness for these nations today in Jesus' name. Lord, we want to we repent and we're going to ask for forgiveness. We, wanna, we want these nations to seek your direction. We want these nations to know your word, Lord. And everything that's, been, that's, that's, that's good, that they're calling evil, we want it reversed. Lord, and we want everything that's, that's evil that's been calling good. We want that reversed. Lord, we've missed and we've lost our spiritual equilibrium. We've, we, we've reversed all our values, in other words. That's, that's what we've got we to repent of. All the values, the good values, have been reversed. And we want to repent of that in Jesus' name. Lord, we've exploited the poor. And we, we've exploited the poor and we call it lottery. Can you hear me? Yeah. We've exploited the poor. We've got people out there that can't even feed their kids. But we, we, we call it lottery. Give them a false hope and they give them their last pound to buy a lottery ticket. Can we repent of this? 
we're getting right to the root. In Jesus' name, we exploit the poor. These are things that burn in my heart. Lord, God, we've rewarded laziness. We have. We've rewarded laziness and we call it welfare. Do you want to repent today? We're rewarded late. We've got kids that, and, and young girls that have pregnant just to get a flat. Are you hearing me? We've got, we, we've got young people who want to go to university and work hard. But we've got young people that they know they get money off the dole and they don't want to work. We're rewarded laziness and we're calling it welfare. I repent of that. Do you want to repent? Lots of our young people, we, if we look at the country that before, if we look at our church uh, system right now, it's collapsing because it's been abused. We repent of these things in Jesus' name. We, we kill our un unborn babies and we call it choice. Come on, there's more abortions taking place here than anything else. You think they're advised by, by doctors, they're advised by friends to go and kill the baby. It's your choice. We repent of it, Lord. We repent of it, Lord. We will not every nation right now. Just these three points that start right now. Every nation start repenting right now. Lord, we will not call it a choice. There are more than more girls having babies. I mean, killing babies and calling it choice. We repent. We will not call evil good. Thou shalt not kill. Come on, begin to repent right now. Oh, may we hear your heart tonight. We need your help, Lord. Oh, but, uh, call out for that nation you're representing. Come on. Oh, Lord, you're going to heal the nations. Sheila Mandoroko, bring your nation before the Lord. Oh, Lord God. Sile Bela Mandrobori, a Sebaranda Rabairiki. Oh, Now let's agree. I want you to join with me. I know that the Lord's brought you here. And as you're dressed up in your costumes and you, you have your colors and your flag, you're the ones that God's called to stand in the gap like Ezekiel 22, 30. He wants you to build the wall. But let me bring what's hard, heavy on my heart tonight. We have neglected to discipline our children and we've called it building self-esteem. And that's why we've got our kids out there stabbing each other and shooting each other. We've neglected to discipline. In every nation represented here, if we're going to pray, we're going to go God's way. I'm going to go by how the Holy Spirit pushes us to do something. We've neglected to discipline our children and we call it building self-esteem, giving them uh, their own way. There are children in all the nations taking their parents to court. Are you hearing me? They're stealing. They have no consideration for older people. Years ago, if you, if you got in the bus... You'd get up and give your seat to an older person. They'll look at you and they just kiss the teeth. For those who are Caribbean. They, they, they'll see someone struggling with a bag. They, they won't help them take the, take the bag. Yeah, well they, well, they will help them take the bag. They'll take the bag. Are you hearing me? They will relieve them of their purse. It's because we called lack of discipline. Right. 
and discipline we called wrong. And now we're reaping the consequences. But there's a God who's up in heaven. And if you call out right now in repentance and say, I'm sorry, Lord, on behalf of my nation, I'm sorry. When Nehemiah came to cry out for Israel, he said, I and my fathers have done wrong. He didn't say my fathers and I. He put himself before even his fathers. He was born after his father. But he said, I and my fathers have done wrong. I want you right now to take some responsibility and respond to God and repent. Cry out right now. Lord God, we come to you. And we say that by the power of the Holy Spirit, we engage. You've taught us about intercession. You've taught us about warfare, Father. You've taught us about taking back. And in Jesus' name, we come before you. Oh! <laughs> Romonda la batisse braca. Shili birianda la babosha. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. It's done. Your will be done right now as we cry out to you. If my people will call, Lord God, if we repent, you will hear from heaven. You will heal our lands. La basse brede. Shiginda la bossa baka. Ah, la bakisse braca. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, I don't want to take much more time. Listen, for every nation that's here right now, let's agree right now. God, put it on my sister's heart that you come and you pray tonight. We're going to do it God's way and it's going to get done. All we have to do is agree with heaven. For every nation right now, here's the politicians. Here's the government. What we have done in nations, they have abused power and called it politics. Are you hearing me? Something's breaking in the spiritual realm right now. Over the government of the nations you represent and God's put upon your heart. Where there's been abuse of power, we see that all the governments are getting richer and, and more powerful. And they're driving all the best cars. And there's people in the streets, poverty. Where they've abused power and called it politics. But my father said his son will come and be an emancipator. And the government shall be upon his shoulder. In Jesus' name. I want you right now to bring your nations before the Lord. And we say, Father, every abuse of power that's been called politics, we call your kingdom to come. We call your will to be done. Let's begin to pray right now. Father, we come in Jesus' name. We declare that by the power of the Holy Spirit, we repent of the abuse of power, Father. We repent of that, Lord God. In the nations that are represented here and other nations too, Father, I pray that by the power... Yeah. Living in an Amanda Father, I pray that this verse will come alive, oh Lord God. Libi Sibra Ramanda Ramakusa Reki. Rikinda Ramosibra. Shanda Rababa Bobosa. Randi Bikiturianda Rababosa. Riti Tilimanda Ramaka. We repent of that right now in Jesus' name. Break the curse. Oh, Let's repent right now of another area, and I know that from this place tonight. We sing it all. Let your glory break forth from this place. Let it go forth from here to the nations as we repent. God's doing something right now. Do you know that if we all take, we'll all have nothing? But do you know if we all give, we'll all have something? Are you hearing me? What we have done in the nations, we have coveted our neighbor's possessions and we've called it ambition. Are you hearing me? That spirit of covetousness has been turned into the slogan of ambition. I felt it today. I knew you were going to pray tonight. And I just felt it in my spirit. And I said, Lord, just tell them, give me some key things. And he said, tell them to pray that the spirit of coveting their neighbor's possessions will be broken in the nations. There's enough for everybody. And the spirit of ambitiousness be broken. 
We're not to be governed by ambition. We're to be governed by faith. I know in the heavenly something's happening. Begin to repent right now. Father, we come before you. And we ask you right now in the name of Jesus that the covetous spirit will be broken, Father. The spirit of covetousness, the spirit of greed, the Father, Lord God, the spirit of lust be broken, oh Lord God. Oh, in Jesus' name, come on, in Jesus' name, the Son of the living God, in Jesus' name, the Son of the living God, in Jesus' name, the Son of the living God. Oh, la basiba. Come on, let's repent right now, because many Christians are caught up in this. We've polluted the air with profanity and pornography and call it the freedom of expression. We repent of that. We should not have the freedom to express pornography and perverse speaking. I feel like a giant tonight to tear some things apart. Just because we have a TV in our house does not mean to say that we have the freedom to go and watch dirty things. Tonight we're going to clean up the nations by the power of the Holy Spirit. I have found there's more power in repentance than there is in prayer. There's more power in repentance than in prayer. Listen very carefully. Because you can come and you can pray and have all the wickedness in your hearts. And all it is is just nice words. I call this, I call that. But God ain't doing nothing. He looks at the condition of the heart. But when a man or woman repents, then he can heal the land. Father, right now, in Jesus' name, perverseness, pornography, filthy speaking, we repent of calling it the freedom of expression. Lord, we call that which is wrong, wrong. Come on, begin to repent over that nation right now. Lift your voice and begin to do it in Jesus' name. Sabarabo, Sibran, Narabana, Mandaroki. Oh, Rabasikin, Narabai, Sabah. Search us, O oh God, and know our hearts. Search us, O oh God, and know our hearts. Search us, O oh God, and know our hearts. Hallelujah. And as I hand over right now, let's repent of one more thing. When the Lord gave us this theme, this is God's time. This is what we need to repent of. We need to repent first starting with the church. For judgment shall begin at the house of God. If it begins at the house of God, where shall, if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? That tells me that the ungodly is someone who was godly. Let me hit you with it tonight. It says the righteous, the ungodly, the sinner. Now the sinner never was godly. In this context, it is the righteous who became ungodly. Many of us in this room are in, under the category of ungodly. For we have stolen God's time. I'm going to be blunt. I'm going to speak as he put it in my heart this afternoon. He made us righteous. Noah remained righteous. And he remained righteous by his speak. He preached and preached and preached for a hundred years. Lot was made righteous under the covenant. But because of his own eyes, Lot, the righteous man, Tortured his righteous soul. In Sodom, he became ungodly. I told you the other day, when Noah was called out, he just went, walked after God and went into the ark and everything followed him. Even the animals followed him because he was obedient. Everything else after him followed him. Lot had to be dragged out. We're going to pray right now in the name of Yeshua 
that God will visit the nations again. I want to be found righteous. Not just because Jesus paid the price. He paid the price for all. I want to be found righteous because I'm willing to work out my salvation with fear and trembling. Can you hear me? We're not going to get in just because Jesus saved us. They that enter in shall be saved. There's a working out of your salvation. When he came to the seven churches, he said, I see your works. Not your heart. I saw your works. Are you hearing me? There is some working out. We're not saved by works, but there's works to be done in salvation. Shall we repent right now of abusing God's time and not giving God's time? We give God's, we give God's time to TV. We give it to all other things, to hobbies, and we haven't got time for God. Something's breaking in the spirit realm right now. It's breaking in the atmosphere. I'm saying, Lord, I want to be saved from stealing. I want to be saved from stealing your time. Lift your hands and begin to repent right now. Come on, begin to repent before him. Sobra shabrak. Oh, la Just continue to cry out to God right now. You know your life. You know where you fall short. Just begin to cry out to God right now. In the name of Jesus. Shababa Santo of a sheep. Shababa Santo of heal our land. Heal us. Heal us and heal our land. Heal us. Heal our land. Heal Jesus. Bring healing. Bring healing. Restore Jesus. Restore. Restore unto us. Kura baba shaka da ba santo robo shika baba santa. Kura baba baba santo robo shiko robo santa. Sama mama siko robo shanta da ba santo robo shika. Shaba baba santo robo shika da ba santa. A baba ba santo robo shiko robo santa. Shaba baba santo. And ask the praise singers to come and sing, Lord, we love you. Hallelujah.
so when storm clouds rise, I'll hasten to his throne. When things don't seem to be turning out right, his throne. When the tears come streaming down. time in prayer in preparation for this conference we didn't want to just have another conference and we didn't want business as usual and we have every service and the afternoon the morning sessions have just gone according to how the Holy Spirit has led us tonight in Jerusalem is Shabbat and for those who have been to Israel on a Friday night, especially in Jerusalem. Oh, it's marvelous. It's one of the most overwhelming experiences I've ever had. To be in Jerusalem on a Friday night, Shabbat. Going, walking through the streets of Jerusalem, going down to the Western Wall, and taking the journey down and seeing people on the way to synagogues and down to the western wall to, to pray. You see mothers and fathers with their children and there's a peace and there's this holy hush. I can't explain it. You have to experience it. And they're going and you're walking with them and you feel you're just being carried on the wings of prayer. And the prayer of your heart as you walk behind these people and they're, they're, they're crowds, but they're not pushing, they're not shoving, they're just going with reverence. And you see the mothers pushing the babies in the, in the push chairs and the fathers holding their sons and they're going to worship. And the prayer of your heart is, oh Lord, that they may know Jesus. And, and, and you begin to rejoice because you know that Jesus Christ will reveal himself to them. And we shall all go up to Jerusalem. We shall all go up and worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. So Pamela Suran all the way from Israel is not having Shabbat in Israel. She's having a different kind of Shabbat here in England with the people of God. Hallelujah. I'm going to ask Pamela to come right now. She's going to share what's on her heart. It's, it's just wonderful. You know, I, I, my father's gone to be with the Lord. But his desire was that all nations would come in one place and worship God. 
His desire was to have a church. He said to me, Rosemary, the church should be a representative of the kingdom of heaven. Every nation should be able to come together and worship in one accord and have the truths of God communicated and they all understand and they all respond to Jesus. And he's gone to be the Lord 22 years and this work is still going on and his vision is coming to pass. Hallelujah. Pamela, just come and just share what the Lord's laid on your heart. Pamela's a, a wonderful artist, and she shared with us uh, this morning, by profession, she's an artist. And when God called her, and especially into intercessory prayer, he told her to, to stop for five years so he could retrain her to paint the way he wanted her to paint. Every stroke a prayer. And she's got samples of her work here and they're for sale. If you want to, to purchase and bless her ministry and, and, to, and to, to honor God and worship God.